Okay, uh, welcome to this uh, PHP Basics tutorial on redirecting. Um, what I mean by redirecting, um, just in case you don't know, is like sending the user to another page. This can be a file on your server or it can be like an external website um, and this will ha happen sort of immediately, they won't see it or anything. Um, so it's done by PHP and they don't actually see the page sort of in between, if that makes sense. Um, so the way we're going to be doing this is by sending a header and that header is going to be the location header. Um, the syntax of that header is just location and then the URL you want to redirect them to. Now that can be either a file like index.php and what that will do is redirect them to the index.php file in the same folder as this redirect.php file in this case. Um, or you can like specify a full URL here like uh, UK like that and that will redirect them to that actual URL that full like you know website um, like external site there you go um, so yeah that's basically how we're gonna be doing it um, a header is in case you don't know this either is something that um, sort of comes with HTTP responses so when you uh, sort of view a page your browser sends a resp uh, request to the server and then the server replies with a response uh, and that response is made up of both headers and sort of content now the content is what we usually deal with uh, and that's like what um, you have PHP like echo or just output outside of tags or whatever so in this case just like I have this file here this bit here would be the content so actually if I just load this page up you see we get this, if I just view the page source that's there with the new lines and everything is the content the actual output so yeah and headers are something that you don't really see very often you can look at them if you want there are add-ons and stuff for Firefox anyway that sort of show you the headers um, but we're not going to be concerning ourselves with that so the way we actually redirect a user is by sending a header uh, and the way we do that with PHP is using the header function and whoops the header that we're going to send in this case is going to be location http go on slash 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 uk. Hit save. Now if I just go to my um, browser again and just go back and reload this page, you see we get sort of seamlessly redirected to my website, which still is basically nothing. Um, well, you can do that. It's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, that's basically it actually for redirecting. There are a few uh, problems that you may come across, if I just go back. Um, one of them is that the way HTTP works is that the headers have to come before any output. So like say if you, you can't send a header after output basically, so headers, it's HTTP, HTTP responses separated into two chunks. Like the first one being the headers and the second one being the sort of main content. So once you're done sending and processing it and headers and you've sent them, you can't add more. So I'll demonstrate the problem that we have. If I just do echo thing and reload our page now, oops, sort of missed, okay. You see we get this error. Warning, cannot modify header information, headers already sent, and then this bit in brackets, whoops, uh, yeah, tells you sort of where or why the header output's already started. Uh, why the headers can't be sent that is sorry um, so the reason is output started at and they tell you the file name and then the line which is here at the end so if we just go to our code uh, you see the file is obviously this file and line 3 is this um, so it's saying that because the output has started PHP has finished processing headers, it's sent them and then it's moved on to processing output so then when we try and send another header it basically can't because well, I've already explained that. Um, so the way around this is to just make sure that um, output comes after headers. And in all my tutorials, I do I sort of demonstrate a method of doing this. Um, it shouldn't really cause any problems anyway, because you shouldn't ever actually want to out, uh, redirect the user after output, um, because the logic and sort of output should be always separate. So yeah, um, there shouldn't ever be a problem with that, but. Um, so yeah, you just need to make sure your code is arranged in a way that means these always come first. Um, so yeah, 
Um, you can make this dynamic as well. So like, uh, if I just change these to double quotes and stick a variable in here, like get URL, let's use. Whoops, don't want that there. I do want that there. Now this will actually be able to demonstrate another sort of problem. If I just reload this page, you see we get this error, which is obvious. Notice undefined index URL, just because I haven't specified the get variable URL at the end of here. Uh, and this also uh, brings up another problem, which is warning, cannot modify header information, header already sent by, and the output has started at the file and line 3. Now if we go to our file and look at line 3, it's just this header line, which sort of might seem a bit odd, but the problem is that um, the way PHP processes a script is that it goes through the script first, um, sort of processing it, outputting any errors, and then after that it actually sends the headers and output. So it gets to this line, it finds this variable as undefined, it outputs an error message, then it moves on to the end of the script, then it comes back and sends the headers. Um, that's the way you can think of it anyway. Um, so the problem is that error messages actually count as output. So that's something that might sort of be a bit confusing in some cases. So if we actually specify a URL in this variable, like um, URL equals at uh, php.co.uk, hit enter, you see we will get redirected to my site, which again has basically nothing on it. Um, so yeah, that's basically the uh, sort of, well that's everything isn't it? Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, so, um, oh, that, no, there's one more thing. Um, after you've sent a location header, PHP will um, continue to process the script, even though your browser has kind of moved on to something else. So, say if you had something down here that was like a query or something quite um, like intensive, something complicated and big, you know, like um, not necessarily a lot of output, but um, like a, I don't know, if you did some sort of complicated calculation or something, or something with a lot of loops, anyway, whatever. Um, then PHP would still process that and it would still send the HTML output just that you wouldn't see it because you'd already moved off onto a new page. So after you send a location header you just need to kill the script with die like so. Um, it wouldn't be unreasonable to create a function like redirect um, direct burn to type. Uh, so this wouldn't be an unreasonable thing to do um, it seems a little bit pointless to me because the um, sort of code is so short. It's like a two-line function. It's not really worth anything. But um, that wouldn't be a ridiculous thing to do. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, for some reason, I've managed to talk for eight minutes. But <laughs> okay. Um, so thanks for watching, and hopefully some of this was useful.